jail this afternoon after this after claiming american laws don't apply to her police say they apply to her and also apply to her fake id channel 2's gwinnett county bureau chief tony thomas live in duluth with video of her encounter with police tony and linda this is a copy of that uh, fake id police say she gave them it's called the american american global id and liberty pass expires february 2199 didn't have a birth date on it uh, for Joyce Marie, but arrived on Earth date. Now the back of it, well, is basically a warning for cops to back off and says it comes from the Continental Side Reel Republic. beginning, the woman identified as Joyce Marie Beasley refused to roll down her window for the Duluth officer and claimed she didn't need a driver's license to, quote, maneuver. And you had no right to pull me over, so there you go. Look at this. I don't want to talk. Well, sure. Do you have your driver's license with you? Police ultimately did pull Beasley out of her car, but not without continued protest. Yes, move out of the way. I'm going to get out. You want to step out. She was obviously very irate, uh, being stopped and asked if she was being detained. And, you know, the officer on scene said, yes, yeah, she he, she was. And uh, he, he handled it appropriately. Beasley at one point called a man who identified himself as the Consulate General of the Nation of Moore. She has the right to travel. Okay. She, she is not a United States citizen. Police disagree. And after they say they found some marijuana in their car, she spent two days in jail before making bond. And this appears to be like a sovereign citizen. She claimed that she doesn't need a uh, 
uh, ID to travel or driver's license to maneuver, she claimed. I just don't want nobody trying to kidnap me, and that's what I'm being done is kidnap. Now we tried tracking Beasley down, but couldn't find anyone in Georgia listed by that name. Live in Duluth, Tony Thomas, Channel 2 Action News. What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this beautiful beginning of the work week, Monday. Okay, me and Mondays don't get along well, but I just enjoy for what it is, just the same. You understand? It's heading towards Friday, so we'll call it beautiful anyway. That first clip that I uh, showed you guys happened back in um, May of 2019. Okay, in Pittsburgh where a brother got pulled over, you understand, and he was actually showing the police officers, you know, that their laws didn't pertain, you know, uh, to him because he is a Moor and uh, Moors are sovereign, you know, and they don't have to basically, you know, put up with Americans so-called laws and it did work for him. Okay, they are a so sovereign uh, organization. But as for the sister right here, it didn't go so well. You know, she did wind up going to jail, even though she played the Moore's card. You know, the sovereign, you know, uh, organization there. Let's just say that. <laughs> well, it didn't work so well for her. Uh, I think it may have had something to do with uh, the fact that she had, you know, marijuana in her, in her car. Maybe that's what it was. But nevertheless, you know, they took her in and she, you know... Uh, went to jail for a couple days okay now let's get into this story right here as we know it says here woman pulled over by police told them american laws don't apply to her a north georgia woman is out on bond on several charges after she told police that american laws do not apply to her the officer said he saw the woman driving oddly and thought she might be drunk uh he pulled her over and found himself in a very strange situation. The driver claimed to be a member of the National Moors with no need for American laws. Do you have your license with you? The officer is heard asking the woman on police body cam video of the incident. Okay, um, Goes on to say, I don't have a license to drive a car, the woman told the officer. The ID that the woman tossed at the officer identifies her as Joyce Marie from Blue Ridge. The ID was labeled an American Global ID and Liberty Pass expiring in 177 years. <laughs> That's a long time, you understand? Um, you know, uh, okay, they took her in and everything. You know, now, if it's anything to this situation with the, you know, sovereignty of the Moors and where they govern themselves and they are immune to uh, American laws. And guess what? A lot of this stuff is going to get thrown out. OK. And uh, if I ever see an update on this particular story, I'll make sure I bring it back to you guys. OK. But to continue, I don't know if I wonder, excuse me, I don't know if I would consider it an I.D., but that's what she claimed it to be, uh, said Officer Ted Sadowski with the Duluth Police Department. That was when the officer asked the woman to step out of the car. After several minutes of the woman refusing to get out, the officer pulled her out. A man, I, I don't think he pulled her out. I mean, from the, you know, the camera, the body camera, I think he started to and she snatched back. She decided to just go ahead and get out. You know, then that way it don't make, you know, matters worse. Okay. Now to continue, um, a man uh, she was on the phone with claimed he was the consulate general of the national, well, excuse me, of the nation of Moors and that she was a member. I don't have to have a license to maneuver. Um, you do not have to have a driver's license. Well, I had drivers, but a license to drive a car. Marie told the officer, you well, it says, yes, you do. The officer told her, no, you do not, Marie replied. Okay, so they're going back and forth, you know. Um, in conclusion here, it says, she claimed she wasn't a sovereign citizen, but that's sort of the tell 
tell sign of one, Sadowski said. Now that's crazy because uh, if she's actually a part of the Moore's uh, organization, she's sovereign and that's just what it is, okay? Now to continue, I am not a United States citizen. You're going to get into trouble, Reed told the officer. Police say they later found marijuana in the car. She was booked into jail under the name Joyce Beasley, Ali, and spent two days behind bars before making bond. Channel 2 Action News could not find anyone by the name in Blue Ridge of Georgia to con con uh, contact for comment on this story. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I'm basically wondering if there's any validity at all to this particular situation when it comes down to the Moors not having to, uh, you know, abide by Americans, you know, America's laws, just say, say that. I mean, the first clip that we saw, it actually worked, but in this particular situation, it didn't. But I want you guys to tell me in the comment section what you think and how this particular situation, you know, with the Moors and their sovereign laws or whatever applies to American laws. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.